Hello, welcome to Maths with J. Here we're being asked to differentiate one function being divided by another one. Let's start by writing down y is sine 2x over x squared. And it'll be a good idea to actually write down the rule that we want to use. So we want to use the quotient rule here. So I like to write this out in terms of u and v so that our function in the numerator will be u and the denominator will be v. So the quotient rule is, now it's really important here that our u is sine 2x and v is x squared in the example we're, we're looking at. And anyway, let's just write down the, uh, the general rule. So here, unlike with the product rule, the order matters. So we've got u over v, and when we differentiate, we're going to get v times du by dx minus u times dv by dx. And then all of that is divided by v squared. So it means that when we're looking at differentiating sine 2x over x squared, we have no choice. In other words, we must, if we're using the rule in this form, let u equal the numerator. So u must be sine 2x and v will be x squared. Now to differentiate u, well, we've got a function of a function there, haven't we? So let's just write down the chain rule. We'll write both the rules over here and then we'll see how they work out. So what we've got is that u is a function of x, but u is a function of something that's a function of x. So let's use w. So what the chain rule will give us is that du by dx is du by dw times dw by dx. So what we'll do over in our example is let w be equal to 2x and then we'll be able to work out du by dx because we can work out du by dw and dw by dx. So if w is 2x then we can write down that u is sine w. So du by dw, well now we're just differentiating sine of a function and that's going to be cosine of the same function. So that's going to be cos w and then we want to work out dw by dx. So now we're looking at what w is in terms of x, so it's 2x, so differentiating 2x gives us 2. So now applying the chain rule, du by dx is going to be du by dw times dw by dx, so it's 2 cos w, but w is 2x, so it's 2 cos 2x. So that's worked out du by dx. And then we're also going to need for the quotient rule dv by dx. So that's going to be relatively straightforward. So dv by dx is 2x. So now we're ready to substitute everything into the quotient rule. So we've already said that y is sine 2x over x squared. So we can now just write that dy by dx is so it's going to be v times du by dx, first of all. So we've got x squared. And then let's just put in brackets the next bit. So the du by dx is 2 cos 2x. And then we're subtracting u times dv by dx. So u is sine 2x. And then we're going to multiply that by dv by dx, so that's going to be 2x. And then we're going to divide by v squared, so that's going to be x squared squared. So then all we need to do is tidy this up a little bit. So that's 2x squared cos 2x. 
and then we can bring the 2x in front of the next term so we've got 2x sine 2x and then x squared all squared will be x to the power of 4 and what can we do to that well in the numerator we've got a 2 in each of the terms and in each term we've got an x so what we can do is take a 2 outside a bracket and also divide each term by x so looking at the denominator so that we don't forget that let's just put that outside here so dividing x to the fourth by x gives us x cubed and then in the numerator instead of x squared we'll get x so we've got x cos 2x and then instead of 2x there well remember we've already got the 2 outside the bracket the x we're cancelling from everything so all we're going to have there is sine 2x and then that's it we've differentiated sine 2x divided by x squared